Hi guys, Mr B here and in this video we're going to be having a quick look at time and uh, the different ways we will see time presented and how to convert between them. So obviously to look at time first we need to know what the different units of time are. So we also know that we start off with the second which are uh, one of our smallest units of time that we use standard day to day and there are 60 seconds in a minute then we have 60 minutes in an hour. In one day we have 24 hours. Uh, there are seven days in a week and there are 52 weeks in a year. So that means we've got 365 days in a full year. So those are all the different units of time that we've got. And now we're gonna have a quick look firstly at how to read the time when we're looking at different clock faces. So this is how you will normally see a clock all around there. You'll see it on a watch face. And um, they might look a little bit different. You might not have numbers, you might have Roman numerals, but this is what we call an analog clock, okay? So we've got our hands and our second hand, our minute hand, and our hour hand, okay? Now, to read this, it's quite hard, okay? Just to learn, tell the time like that. It's something that all you need to do is keep testing yourself over and over again, ask someone to help you. What time is it now? What time is it now? That's how you're gonna learn the time. We're gonna have a quick overview of how we can tell it, okay? So as you can see, we've got three hands on here. Some cl clocks only have two hands, okay? The one hand that some don't, clocks don't have is this red one we've got here that's moving quite quickly, and that's our second hand, okay? And that goes around, okay, 60 times, because we know there's 60 seconds in a minute, okay? It goes around once every minute and a second. They're easy to spot because they're moving quite quickly. You can actually see them moving. The other two hands that we have are the two hands that are on every clock, and they are harder to see moving because they're moving very, very slowly. And we have the smaller hand here, which is our hour hand, and the bigger arm, okay, which is a little bit longer, that is our minute hand. So what happens is when we want to tell the time, we need to look at these two uh, hands. So firstly, we would look at the hour hand, so we can see what hour it is, so we can see here. Now it is something to do with the hour of six o'clock, because our little hand is pointing at six. And the big hand, okay, when we look at the big hand, that's shown us the minutes, either minutes past the hour or minutes to the hour, okay? So this is telling us how many minutes past six o'clock it actually is. Now, again, we use these numbers around the outside, but we have to use it differently for minutes. So that's not one, two, three, and all the way around to 12 minutes past six. These, each of these numbers actually represents five minutes now. So as we can see, we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then back it will be 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour. And one way, all the way around is an hour. So this clock here, as we can see there now, we can look it up, it's nearly on the two, so we can see it's 5, 10, so the minute's 10. Okay, so it's 10 minutes past six o'clock. Now what will all normally happen as well with clocks is this hand here, which is the uh, hour hand, that will move as the hour goes round, okay? So as this, minute hand moves around and gets closer to seven o'clock, this one will get closer to seven o'clock. So it might not always be on dead on the number it's on, but it'll always be past it. So when it's past six, but not at seven, we're still in the hour of six o'clock and how many minutes? As you can see, it can be quite complicated. So the way we tell the time as well, as you can see our red line, anything on this half, okay? So from 12 all the way down to six, is we see how many minutes past the hour. When we get to uh, past the six up to here, when we're looking at the big hand, we see a minute to the hour. Because this one, okay, we can see when we look down here, that is closer to six o'clock. So we see it's five past, 10 past, 15 minutes past, 20 past, 25 minutes past six o'clock. Then when we get here, we are now closer to the next hour. So we see how many minutes it is to. So we'd say 25 minutes to, 22, okay. Uh, quarter two, ten two, five two. Okay, that one second half is a little bit harder because it's fifty minutes. Okay, five ten minutes we get to fifty. We can see it's like ten minutes to six. Uh, the next hour on this hour will be seven o'clock. So there's two ways to work that out. Either we know it's five ten, fifteen twenty, twenty five thirty forty. Okay, so say we were down on this one, we're at forty minutes. Okay, we know. That, that, if we take, uh, there are 60 minutes in an hour, so if we take 40 off, there's 20 minutes left, so it's 22. Or another way, we could count how many there are left, so we go 5, 10, 15, 20, there's going to be 20 minutes left too. And when we'd say 20 to 7, okay? So, 
One we tell this time here, we would see it is 10 past, because in this half, 6 o'clock. That's how you'll normally see the time in lots of clocks, and like I say, lots a lot of practice will help with that. Now, you might have mentioned it, heard me mention it, but we also have special names for here, here, and here. So if that big minute hands on here, we see it's quarter past because it is a quarter of the hour. If we broke the hour into four, 15 would go into 64 times. So that's 15 minutes past. We hear people say quarter past. Okay. When we get here, it's a halfway through the hour. So we say it's half past rather than 30 minutes past. And then this last one is quarter two. And as you can guess, that's because it's 15 minutes to. It's a quarter of the hour to um, the next hour. So we would say quarter to seven, quarter to eight, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's how we would tell the time on analogs. Like I say, it sounds difficult when you first look at it, but the more and more practice you get with it, the more used to it you will get. Now we're going to look at the different cl uh, other clocks we can look at and the other two ways we can tell the time, and that are and those are sorry digital clocks. So now we're going to have a look how we would read the time on a digital clock. Now, digital clocks, in a way, are a lot easier because we don't have to do with hands um, and working out which one's which or anything like that. We're just told in numbers. But before we can look at digital clocks, we need to know that the day is broken into two different parts. OK, so as we said earlier, there are 24 hours in a day, but we break it into two 12 hour sections. We have our morning, which is called AM, and we have our afternoon or sorry, our night time, which is called PM. OK, so the first 12 hours of the day um, are called uh, AM, morning, and our second uh, set of 12, they're called PM. And that's the evening and the night. OK, that's important because obviously when you, when you see time, you don't normally hear of anything past 12 o'clock. But obviously we know there are 24 hours in the day. So this is how we tell the difference. So once it gets to 12 o'clock, it goes back to one. OK, so there are two types of digital clocks. The first one we'll see is what we call a 12 hour digital clock. And we'll see the time like this. And that will tell us the first two numbers will tell us the hour. OK, so if we've got a 10 there, we know it's 10 o'clock. The second two numbers after the colon, they tell us how many minutes past that hour it is. So here, if we've got 20, we know it's 20 minutes past 10 o'clock. We just have to read the numbers. And we'll obviously read them from that way to that way because we don't say it's 10 uh, hours and 20 minutes. We say it's 20 past 10. OK, now some clocks, if it's 12 hour one, they won't tell you at all whether it's morning or night. It'll just go around every 12 hours. But you would normally tell because if it's three o'clock in the afternoon, it's going to be sunny. If it's three o'clock in the morning, it's likely to be quite dark outside. Other clocks like this one might have a.m. or p.m. after it to tell you. So on this one, we say we've got um, two and then we have a 30. So we know it's half past two. OK. Now it has a PM there as well, so we know it's half past two at night. Now, as well as this, we also have to work out when it's past and two. Okay, so remember we said half past, we can see because halfway down the clock, that was easy. This time we know half of 60 is 30, so anything after 30, we'd stop seeing past, so we'd stop seeing 20 past, 25 past, or anything like quarter past. Um, and after we get to 30, which would be half past, we would start seeing two again. So at this clock, if it said 6.35, again, we could count in five, so we get the 60 to see how many it is away. Or you could take the 35 of 60, and you end up with 25, and you know it's 25 to seven, because seven is going to be the next hour after six. And that's how we would look at a 12-hour digital clock. Now, a 24-hour digital clock so it does exactly what it says on the tin. Rather than then putting the hours on and saying AM and PM, when it gets to 12 o'clock, it just carries on. Now, you might hear this a lot when you watch maybe sort of films with soldiers in and stuff like that, because they use a 24-hour clock because it's easier and they don't want to get mixed up when they say go on an operation or anything like that. You don't want people to turn up at the wrong time. So what they'll do is when it gets to 12 o'clock, the next hour, rather than going back to 1, would be 13 and 14 and 15 and so on up at 24. So when you see this clock, you would see something like 15, 20, OK? And you'd have to work out what that hour is. Now, the way to work that out, to convert that into normal time, is we would take 12 off the first hour. So if we take 12 off the 15, we would get, <coughs> sorry, we would get 3 o'clock, OK? So it would be 20 past 3. And that's how we work at what that time is. So when you hear them in the films, they normally say 1,300 hours or um, 1,400 hours, 1,500 hours. They're basically using a 24-hour clock. So again here, if we had 20, 24, 
Okay, that's 24 minutes past the hour of 20. To work out what that would be, as how we would normally say it, we'd take 12 of 20, we'd end up with eight. So that's 24 minutes past eight o'clock. And we know that it is at night rather than in the morning because it was actually 20 and not eight. So in the normal morning, it would have said eight, 24. But because it's at night, it says 20, 24. And that's how we would convert between the two of them and how we now read digital clocks. And that's how we would read, read analog clocks, 12 hour digital clocks, 24 hour digital clocks, and convert between the two of them. So I hope that helped. Hope you found that video useful, guys. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. You'll get notifications of any videos that I put up as and when I do. Please share it if you know anyone that will benefit from this and find it useful. And if you've got any questions or anything, comment or use the Twitter or the Facebook page. Till next time, see you later.